Welcome to the Wednesday morning vlog and the Wednesday easy paced five kilometer run. Easily, easily the most difficult type of run I can do because oh my ego, <laughs> my ego likes to just keep pushing it. So holding back, holding back is just like kind of a lot harder, but we're getting it done. This, this type of run is a big reason why my Strava, my Garmin, like all the things where all my runs go into are set to private. I don't want to share it anywhere. I don't want it to go anywhere because my brain would be like, oh, this wasn't fast enough. This wasn't long enough. It's not worth doing. And I get really down on myself by putting that out publicly. The slower, easier paced runs are on the training plan. They're on the training regiment for a reason. But my competitive side would be like, Ugh, I better push. I just better push it anyway. Keep it private, not have it public at all. And kind of keep my competitive side in check. Of course, on this Wednesday slow run, I went a little too long, a little too slow. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Now there is this one really extremely bright side of a slow, easy pace run, and that is the fact that it just feels pretty effortless. Like it doesn't really feel like you're doing anything. So the rest of the day is a lot easier to continue on with, which is good for a Wednesday because BMX night. Wednesdays, as you know, are historically a pretty heavy day. So I'm glad that the easy run falls on Wednesday because if it was a intervals and gym training and BMX night, I might just die. I might just die. Okay, coming up next is the pilot for a new segment here on Spindap. It's a segment me and the team have been wanting to do for a little while. It involves just like a little bit of product showcase, maybe a small review of just things that I like. And it goes by a really catchy title. So without further ado, I present the pilot of Holy Frig Buddy, I Like That Product. Why don't you sit and listen to why? Focus. That's right, the first product feature from myself and the team here at Spindat is the Fabric Scoop Saddle. And holy frig, buddy, do I ever like this product. As a matter of fact, I like it enough that after I bought this and this, I made a vow to myself that all my bikes shall be equipped with a Fabric Scoop unless otherwise not feasible. More on that at the end. And we're on pretty good track here so far. All of these, four out of my however many bikes I have right now, all have one on it. Now, the way I got turned on to these was my friend Nick suggested it to me. He's like, you should check out the Fabric Scoop. So to humor him, I looked him up. And immediately upon seeing this type of image of them, I was like, that is a handsome looking saddle. But cynical, been in the bike industry for a long time, Eric was like, well, you know what that means. The cycling industry doesn't make nice looking stuff for reasonable prices. It's always expensive to get something that looks good. So I did what I always do when I see a product that I think looks great and would look good on every bike. I checked the price, $42 US for this model. Very reasonable, what? What? Typically it doesn't work out like that. I'm pretty sure most companies know that they could manufacture good looking things for less money, but they always make their stuff that's less money more unattractive so that people will spend more. Not the case here. And that is when I ordered two. I put the first one on the roster across here. I think you can agree it looks fucking awesome. I then put the second one on GTMX, which was an absolute waste of a bike to put it on. Though it did look good, but now it's on Fun Morton and you, uh, you're gonna have to agree, it also looks fucking awesome. It also looks awesome here too, and it looks awesome on the fart. But then I rode this bike with that saddle 225 kilometers across the province of Nova Scotia. This saddle shoved between my legs for the entire day. 
and it was great. This curve on the top of the saddle here was pretty good for just like keeping me in place and then shift around a bunch, which was great. And also the plastic underneath here is pretty flexible. So it like kind of acts here. Kind of acts as like a, another little layer with the tires as a bit of an isolator from uh, whatever the road is giving up to you up that, you know. Thank you, Fabric Scoop Saddle for being affordable, looking great and performing better than I would have expected. I love you. The only thing this saddle is obviously not good for is like putting it on a bike that you're gonna do tricks with and stuff that you wanna like pinch pinch your knees. Um, this, is just, this is just too thin, which is like goes without saying. My bikes with the primary goal of doing tricks are always bigger, like more padded, taller saddles. I would never put one of these on here or like there. Uh, as a matter of fact, this thing is not going to get a fabric scoop. It's gonna get something similar to this because, uh, well, I'm not gonna be sitting on this bike all that much. So I don't need the seat that I love to sit on. I need something that I can pinch. Okay, that concludes the pilot episode of Holy Frig Buddy, I like this product. Why don't you sit down? <laughs> Can't even get through the title. I hate to say it, but I did link this product through an Amazon link below. If you go buy a fabric scoop through that link, I'll make a little bit of money from it. Or if you just wanna do super thanks or like buy some of my, I'm not wearing any of my merch. Oh, I am. You can go to my merch store um, and pick up some of the sick merch that I have and help support the channel, especially this time of year where ad rates, ad rates are a little bit low. Also, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this pilot episode and if there's any products that you've seen of mine in here that you wanna know more about for the next episode. While you think about that, I'm gonna build something out of wood now. This is a sub box. It is much too tall for how much ceiling space there is. It's much too narrow and it's incredibly sketchy. A great addition to the indoor ramp. I actually don't know. Good test. BMX night is happening in like an hour.